Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. I'm going to try to get the new DLC ending in 60 seconds. Enough talking, let's do it. I'm not sure what the ending is, guys, but hopefully it's something cool. Oh, shit! Oh, God, 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 go, 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 that's how hard my nipples were right there. I don't know why I told you that, but this music is bumping. Uh, it's new and cool. All right, got a bunch of shit too. Uh, we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. All right, one bug spray, one can of soup. Oh, Sam. Oh, playing cards and ammo, cool. All right, we got a bunch of food and water too. All right, the same five day interval applies with the water and the food. And one of you guys told me to read the notes. Suck my dick, I ain't reading no notes, crazy boy. Those notes aren't that interesting. What I have to say is more interesting than whatever the notes are. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. There's isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy's good, everybody's good. Uh, everything's all good in the hood. More random notes that I'm never gonna read. Yeah, sue me. Do you want me to read those notes? Look at my eyes. These are crazy eyes, I ain't reading those notes. Crazy. We played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for around 10 seconds and that was only because the lights went out for a moment. Yeah, there's 60 new events and like logs inside this diary, so that's why I'm reading them over and over because it might be something new and cool. Looks like the area still irradiated. Nah, I'm good. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. Ah, they want to use the medicine so they can sleep at night. Fuck that. Man, we need to save the medicine for something big. Like something like real. And they're all looking tired as shit. Maybe that's their normal face. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Mary Jane keeps fading, Timmy's in terrible shape, Ted is one foot in the grave, blah 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 blah. Contamination's still strong? The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened we only found a suitcase on the doorstep, and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Ugh, last time I checked, I think Dolores got sick. But we have medicine. We could risk it. There might be something cool in the suitcase. I don't know. It's usually random encounters. Day five, let's see. All right, nobody's sick. Oh, Sam. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was all a lie. Either that water was irradiated or it was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. Oh, shit. They all got sick? Wait, let me see. No, they're just ugly motherfuckers. I mean, Timmy's kind of sick. But man, damn, that's some bullshit. All right, it's day five, so give him some water and some food. Timmy can survive without a little bit of medicine for, for a little bit longer. I might send him outside. Yeah, let's prepare for someone to go out. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, while his companion was pretending to ride his horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. This is new. Ah, uh, you know what? YOLO, YOLO, bitches. Yeah, some guy making horse sounds. He's like, Rrr. I mean, you can trust that, right? He didn't destroy the map. I can see right here. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. And they gave us one bottle of water. Fuck yeah, hopefully that's not a bottle full of piss, cause that'll be some shit. Probably drink it anyway. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. Alright, Timmy, you're about to die anyway, so how about I give you... What the hell? What the hell? I ain't giving you any of that stuff. I was gonna give you a gas mask, but fuck that. You can go out there. Good luck, bitch. Alright, day seven. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Dolores is fine. Ted said there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Yeah, baby. We keep dreaming about those little... Oh, you thought I was gonna read the notes. <laughs> you thought I was gonna read the notes. Joke's on you, my friend. I ain't reading those notes. Crazy, boy! Day eight. Who knows? Maybe the world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Can we spare some water? All right, they, they all want a drink. Well, too bad, so sad. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. No, sir. You get the gun and you say, hey, Mr. Rat. What's up, homie? Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, he broke the gun. Son, we're done. 
Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we'll still top of the food chain. Good for us. Good blew up the gun. I don't know how. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when he blew that gun up. That's stupid, man. How does a gun just blow up like that? Have you guys ever seen... Oh, Timmy's back. What do you bring back? What'd you bring back, Timothy? Uh, we were afraid for Timmy, but he came back. He brought back three waters? Nice. All right, it's day 10. I'll give them water and food. You know what? I might, may as well give him some first aid. I don't know why I keep stumbling over my words today. I, I hate when I do that, man. I feel like a fuckboy. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. I've only had a chance to tune on an emergency radio. Yes. The sooner we get in contact with the government, the better. <laughs> but, but... I'm not really, you know, trying to get the military ending. I'm trying to get the new DLC ending. We were able to get a weak signal and tap to the government, and it's safe to travel on the surface. Cool. So I'm going to send somebody outside now, because we might have to get a new first aid kit. Time to listen to some radio chatter. Maybe we'll pick up on some useful shred of information. Yes, I agree. Who should I send this time? I sent Timmy. He got three bottles of water. In my history of playing 60 Seconds, Mary Jane has been the MVP. You guys know, all my 60 Seconds viewers, you guys know that uh, Mary Jane has been the MVP. I've yelled that shit at the top of my lungs. So I'm gonna send her out. Oh, I can't even send her out. Fuck it, I'm gonna send Dolores then. Orange-haired bimbo. Hopefully she brings back some good shit. If she doesn't, then fuck her. Ted, you're better than her. You don't need her. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy should eat something. Two more days. More random notes. All right, it's day 15. Time to give him some what's up? Some food. And we felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off in the fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have time for anybody to get sick. I'm trying to get all four family members rescued. I don't have time for your little mind games. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Yeah, like Mary Jane's pussy! It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Yep. Uh, it's day 16. I don't need to give anybody anything. More random notes. Ah, uh, Mary Jane, man. She had those bug eyes. Oh, Dolores is back. Dolores is back. What has she been back? Anything good? We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. She brought back nothing. She brought back nothing. What a bitch! All right, I'll give her some food and water. Oh my god. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should we someone go answer it? No, why would you do that? The phone call is obviously not for you. So don't be nosy. Don't be one of those people. That's just rude, man, answering someone else's phone call. Te loca! It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ring full in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. I agree. Alright, it's day 18. I don't need to give anybody anything. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. You know what? I'm gonna just risk it. I'm gonna get another med kit. Wasteland's full of surprise like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? Hell no. We won't go. What? Like, why would I give you ammunition? You usually give me a bottle of water or a can of food. That ain't shit. That man was desperate. When we refused to hand over our ammunition, he was able to throw a smoke bomb in the hatch. Before we could see anything again, he was gone with our ammunition. Asshole. Wait, so he threw a smoke bomb in the hatch and took the ammunition? I would have taken more than that. I would have taken the water, taken some food, fuck his wife, take the axe, take the Boy Scout book, fuck his daughter. Well, I wouldn't fuck his daughter. No, just forget what I said. I wouldn't fuck his daughter. I'd fuck Timmy before I fuck his daughter. Uh, day 19. Nobody needs to get anything. Feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. Let's send Mary Jane. But, uh, let me give her some food and water first, just in case. You never know. Because I need another med kit. I really do. I'm always trying to get Pancake every playthrough, if you guys couldn't tell. And, uh, you need the med kit to get Pancake, obviously. Alright, it's day 20. Give them the goods. When Dolores came back from the expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. Didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. So we're gonna chop off her leg because she has a tiny scratch? It's pretty hardcore! I don't think I could survive like an apocalypse then. If I had a scratch on my leg, I'd be like, oh, please, oh, please don't cut off my leg. If there was one thing we could never consider, it would be cutting off any part of Dolores with an axe. Not only would she object to this, she would probably take matters and the axe into her own hands. Okay, and then what happened? Why did the axe break? 
Oh. So they were struggling and then the axe broke? Whatever, man. Whatever. Go eat a dick, family. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our breakfast. Anyway, they seem very eager to evacuate us away from here, but they went over several things that need to happen before they do it. All right, they want us to place, like, a special landmark in the place where they want us to do it, and we need the map to pinpoint that location, so... That was basically the gist of what that all said. And how do I know? I've read that, like, 12 times before. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left the message in a bottle. Timmy's rested. Dolores is good. Ted's good. Everybody's good in the hood. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside, and it's Pancake. Use the flashlight. Shine it on his cute little doggy face. Doggy style all day, baby. And I like how they added a barking sound effect. It's Pancake. Yep, it's Pancake. And water for Timmy, water for Dolores, water for Ted. Too bad. Something's missing. Let's see. Fan hum, check. Strange noises in our pipe, check. Hellish yells outside, check. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. Yeah, let's talk to that red-headed slut. Or orange-haired slut. Why do they call orange people redheads? Do you guys ever wonder that? Like, why do you call them redheads? They're clearly orange heads. They should be called, like, carrot heads. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Timmy should eat something. Dolores wants to eat something and drink something. But one more day, everybody. More random notes. Where the fuck is Mary Jane? God damn, I'm worried about her. I don't think she's coming back, everybody. I think Mary Jane is lost in the abyss. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Uh, everybody needs to eat, but where the hell is Mary Jizzle? Today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. They're asking for water. I'm gonna give them water. Where the hell is my daughter? Water daughter, man. I'm just like unintentionally rhyming. Unintentionally rhyming. We asked them for their doctor's license, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. <laughs> sure. All right. Mary Jane came back. She brought back two cans of food, one bottle of water, and that's it. Man, nobody's the MVP. Like, everybody's fucking up. I'm gonna send them out again. Uh, more random shit. Some of us are keener to go outside than others, so I can send somebody outside. Let's send Ted this time. But let's give him some food and water first. Food, water, and then, yeah, send him outside. He's the only one I haven't sent outside yet. Maybe he can bring some good luck. Any good luck. 28 days later. Mary Jane's hungry. What else is new, Mary Jane? You're always hungry. We received another radio broadcast from the military. Apparently, they wouldn't be arriving when we expected, but they suggested they won't be long. However, survivors were requested to render assistance by bringing gas canisters to the nearest bus stop for military vehicles to use. I don't have a gas mask. Why the fuck would I need a gas mask? I have the whole family exploring outside without a gas mask. I can go outside right now, pour some fucking oil in your in your tank or your whatever your car you're gonna use. We felt it was too risky to help the army without using a gas mask. Oh, okay. But you guys have been going out the whole time. Makes sense. All right, one more day and I could feed you fucks. Uh, pancakes back and let's give him some soup. Uh, hopefully Ted comes back with the med kit or else I'm gonna have to hate to bury Pancake again. That shit was so depressing. All right, he came back and we gave him some food and everybody needs to eat and drink. Drink and eat. Enjoying little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. Nope, nope. Anytime Mary Jane finds anything, uh -uh, uh -uh. fuck that. It always ends up in bad shit. Oh, and now she's bad shit. Fuck you, Mary Jane. There are plenty of better ways to use our water. Drinking comes to mind, so Mary Jane will have to think of another way to occupy herself. Seems that Mary Jane took it harder than we thought. She really was emotionally invested into growing that plant. Too bad, why don't you grow it out of your asshole? All right, day 34, Ted's back. Yes. What do you bring, what do you bring, what do you bring? Uh, he brought two food, two waters, and that's it? Why are people being so shitty with the scavenging right now? Oh my god. You know what, I'm gonna feed them a day early. Fuck it. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. You know what, I'm gonna send Timmy out there. I have all four family members here. Might as well, man. Let's see what happens. Day 35 in this bitch. What happened, Timmy? Tell me tell me what's goody. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gas or relief coming from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope we, they will get back to us. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right. Uh, I'm gonna send somebody out again. Pancake came back today, very agitated about something. Let's use the map to explore with him. Because usually that means you're gonna get some food and water if you use the map. And yup, we got some more soup. Got three cans of soup. Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna give them all food and water again. I know you guys are gonna be pissed at me, but I have a good reason for doing it. I won't tell you guys what it is right now, but uh, you know, I actually don't have a good reason. I just feel like giving it to them because I'm just like, fuck it. Give it to them. All right, I sent Timmy out. Hopefully he comes back. God damn, I need some good shit. More random notes. Hopefully he comes back with a med kit before Pancake comes back wounded because I am gonna be so heartbroken and I'm not even gonna read that part where you have to bury Pancake. That shit was just too emotionally stressful for me. Um, we got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted? When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? Why not? What if there's some good stuff in there? I mean, the most useless thing would be money, right? Because you, you don't need money when you're in an apocalypse. That was terrifying. As soon as we cracked the safe open, the lights went out for a few seconds and we were left in complete darkness. When it was all over, we noticed that some of our supplies went missing. Damn that ghost! What the fuck? What does a ghost need with a can of soup? Are you shitting me? Alright, it's day 39. First aid kit we have is useless. We probably won't be able to fill it up with prescription meds from a drugstore. Yes! Yes! We're making a med kit! I don't have to fucking bury pancake, thank you god! Oh, hopefully Timmy comes back. All right, we made a med kit. Awesome. And we lost a flashlight? What happened? Hold on, what happened? Mary Jane is so bothered by her nightmare, she refused to even close her eyes for fear of seeing the monstrosities that are troubling her. In a desperate attempt to break free from them, Mary Jane decided to swallow... Oh, God, okay. Thankfully, it's the battery. I hope she didn't swallow something else from our flashlight. She swallowed the batteries from the flashlight. All right, so now the flashlight doesn't work. Thanks a lot, bitch. Day 40. Soup and wata. And a knock on the door is not something we take lightly. So when a man came to our doorstep offering us a highly profitable game of cards. No! I never gamble! Never, ever! Where the hell is Timmy? Yeah, that's one thing I never do, guys. I don't gamble. I don't do drugs. The only time I'm high is when I'm playing these video games because I'm always high on life. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to kids? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Some bastard is trying to catch him or worse. We need to act fast and save him. Yeah, I have a med kit! Fuck yeah! That's what I like to fucking see, baby! Got Pancake again, man! I love that dude. Alright. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Alright, I have three more days till I give them food and water. There are dire circumstances when we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and it won't take care of ourselves. Nobody else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. Of course, there's a chance the neighbor and her kids managed to get there in time. But we could really use whatever they have. And we're stronger. Should we pay them a visit? No. Last time I killed them, and I fucked up. I'm not killing them this time. No way. And Timmy came back. And he's sad. Why are you sad? Did you not bring anything back? Am I have to give you the whip again? Oh wait, what happened with the neighbors? We're no bandits, sure. We need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother these people. A man who takes canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everybody else out there is as decent as our family. True, true, true. Two waters, one flashlight. Thank you, Timmy. You're not MVP. You're kinda MVP. You're a little MVP. Just a little. Baby dick MVP, okay? That's what you are. Oh wait, let's give uh, Timmy some food and water. A young woman dressed in white knocked on our door today, telling us a story of her missing twin brother, who was most probably held captive in a bandit camp. He tried to defeat a big bandit leader and his sister fears something might have happened to him. She claims to know that we're good and trustworthy people and believes that we can help rescue her sibling. If we do, she says it might be a beginning of a solid friendship. Who should go outside? Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I've never had this one before, this is new. Uh, how come I can only send the women? You know what? We'll, we'll sacrifice Mary Jane. She's the guinea pig, remember guys? If she dies, whatever. Whatever. Oh, she came back. What happened? The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Yes! Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost his hand. 
but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Oh, cool! Hopefully that's like the new way to get rescued, that'll be dope! Awesome! Alright, one more day and I'll give them some food and water. I don't think I'm gonna send anybody out yet, more random notes. Alright, I think, I have a hunch that that is the way to get rescued. Help that group out and then they'll come back and repay us by rescuing us. I don't know, it's just a theory, we'll see. Enough arguing, there are more important things to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get this some soup and water. Uh, how much food do I have? Oh boy, alright, I might have to send somebody out. A woman came by with a creature that she claims is a camel, provided that camel had five legs. Oh, that camel had five legs? So he had four legs and a long ass dick? The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Uh, too bad I don't have anything to trade. Shit. Who should I send outside? I should send Timmy. Yeah, I'll just keep it in a rotation. I sent everybody, so now it's Timmy's turn again. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time, if she ever comes back. Nobody's gonna get any of that. Uh, guinea pig's going out. Yeah. Hopefully she comes back. I mean, I don't know. I've been sending her out too much. She's like a damn slut. I've been using her for everything. Mary Jane went outside. Timmy's on his best behavior. Dolores is good. Ted is rested. Awesome. We, the damaged rifle hanging there makes us feel unsafe. Maybe we should fix it? Yes. You should have done that a long time ago. How long ago did I break that gun? That was like, like 20 plus days ago? And you're finally fixing it? Dumbass family. Should have fixed that from the get-go. Pancake is quite agitated. Letting him out for a run seems like a good idea. Yes. Usually he brings back something good. Like some food or some water. One time he brought back a med kit in one of the episodes I played. That shit was too clutch. Pancake didn't bring anything back. Fuck! Well, I can't be mad at Pancake. I can't be mad at him. Pancake is that dude. Uh, one more day and I'll give them water and soup. And random notes. Oh man, I hope that group comes back for us. That would be so sick. 50 days in. Half of 100, baby. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Okay, they need water and food now. Water, food. Shit, I'm running out though. The siblings are back. The group is growing bigger with each passing day as they pick up tired and hungry survivors and nurse them back to health. However, so far they only have one tent and soon they will run out of space for everybody. Right now, they're scouting the town looking for a good spot to build a bigger camp and they could really use a map. Should we give it to them? I mean, I honestly feel like this is the way to get rescued. I'm gonna give them the map. I mean, using the map, it really hasn't done shit for us. It really hasn't. Oh fuck, Mary Jane looks bad. We were happy to see them again. We quickly handed them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight, but they said they would definitely be back again to share some news in a friendly chat. We hope they find a good place. Maybe we could visit them when the camp is ready? Uh, Mary Jane came back, but she brought back two waters, two food, one bug spray. Good. Hopefully we can turn the bug spray into medicine and then give her some food. Alright, give her that. Uh, I might have to send somebody out. I'm not certain about the situation on the surface. I might have to send somebody out. You expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. When we opened up, we encountered a strange man looking in a blue jumpsuit as to trade a water chip. Yeah, let's just give him one. Fuck it. Last time I said no, he like took all the shit inside the, the bunker. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, he gave us a gas mask for the water. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, let's send Dolores. Oh, fuck. I should have gave her the gas mask. Fuck. I forgot about that. That's new. That's one of the updates to the game. I forgot to give her a gas mask. That's so cool that they added that, though. It, it's it's awesome that you can take stuff out. It's like preparing to scavenge. you like, ready and, like, supplied. You know what I mean? Uh, two more days and I'll give them food. More random notes. Come on. I want the twins to come back and save us. Ugh. What if they save us and Dolores is still out there? Does she get rescued too or what? We can take care of ourselves. Mary Jane's hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape. Ted, blah, blah, blah. Our family has been stuck down here for a while now. And we are very worried this might have an adverse effect on Timmy's education. Let's give him a Boy Scout book. I hope, you know, that, uh, that Mary Jane doesn't die on us. She looks horrible. The only book we have with us is the Scout Handbook, but it's more than enough to get Timmy reading. He might learn a thing or two along the way. Perfect. Okay, soup, water. Pancake seems eager to run outside for a while. Maybe he'll bring back something interesting. Yes. He better bring back some water. Because we only got like one and a half bottles left. That's not cool. 
Ah, oh, shit. What do you bring back? Ammo? Really? Pancake, you're being stupid this episode. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is, we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet, for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Smash it with the scalp hemp book. I mean, you can just stab on them, but I'm just saying. Oh, what did she bring back? Dolores? What'd she bring back? For food? Eh, it's okay. Shit, we only have one more bottle of water left. Cockroach alert! Thankfully not here, but in our friend's camp. The place is all set and ready for moving in, but the siblings came over today to tell us that they encountered a problem. They found a nest of mutated cockroaches right in the middle of the camp, and they would like to get rid of them before anybody moves in. They're asking if we have anything that could prove useful in fighting these creatures. Gun. The gun, son. Cause you're done, son. Ooh. Gunshot sound effects, let's go. The roaches proved to be reasonable. They responded to violence by moving out. They didn't even put up much of a fight. Maybe they're peaceful? Who cares? The camp is now ready to live in and hope our friends will enjoy their new insect-free home. Okay. Awesome. So they just moved in? They're not going to rescue us? Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the service to look for some additional supplies. Send Timmy. Bring the gas mask. Give him some food and water. Because who knows when he's going to come back. All right, cool. Oh, man. This is getting more intense. It's almost 60 days in, guys. And I have one more water bottle left. Holy shit. This is gonna get crazy. We woke up to the sound of banging our door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. The end. Who is it? Who is... Who? Is this the new people? This is the new people! We were ecstatic when our friends came over today to officially invite us into their new camp. The siblings said they are incredibly grateful for all the help and assistance we provided. They claim the whole thing wouldn't be reasonable without us. They swear they already made a separate house for us, all furnished in some with our new supplies, and there are plenty of families waiting to meet us there. We can't wait to be between people again. Maybe the world isn't as bad as it looks. We can't wait to start our new, more peaceful and normal life. Goodbye, little shelter. You have been our home for a long time, but today is time to move on and the future is looking really bright. We held out for 60 days. Yes! Fuck yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Got rescued by these motherfucking blonde twins! Hell yes! Oh man, that's awesome. That is so awesome. We got the new DLC ending, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes! Hell yeah! Ah, oh. And fuck Timmy. Well, let's just pretend that he went to the new camp too. But if you guys want me to play more 60 seconds, give this video a big like and leave a comment below if you want me to do any challenges from the DLC or just any challenge in general. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.